Hey guys, Log here, and there are so many different mechanical keyboards out on the market, but with the release of the new Logitech G810, Logitech has really differentiated themselves from the rest of the keyboard manufacturers. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the new Logitech G810. So the G810 is the G910's brother, and it pretty much offers everything that the G910 has, but in a less gamery, blingy form factor. The entire keyboard is made from a matte plastic except for the sides, which is glossy. And on the bottom there are four feet, a set of small feet, and a set of big feet for two different elevated angles. The key layout is for the most part standard, but seriously Logitech, what the heck is this? Bruh. Anyways, there are dedicated media keys on the top right hand corner, windows lock, mute, and lighting switch, as well as a smooth scroll wheel. For the price, I really would have liked to see a wrist rest included, as the Strafe RGB and K70 RGB both have wrist rest, and those are the main two competitors of the GA10. But aside from the design, the main focus of this keyboard is performance and RGB lighting, and that's where it really shines. For the performance aspect, the G810 has the new Romer G switches, which are designed and manufactured by Logitech with gaming in purpose. The Romer G is basically a Cherry MX Brown switch, but the main difference is that it has a shorter actuation distance, and also the click is a little bit different. The actuation distance on a Romer G switch is 1.5mm, and it has an actuation force of 45 grams. In comparison, MX Brown switches have an actuation distance of 2mm. So the Romer G also has a softer and more mild tactile bump to it, and that's something I have to get used to. But So to sum it all up, it's pretty much just a Cherry MX Brown switch with a massive o-ring underneath, and that's pretty much how I can describe the Romer G switch. So just for comparison, here's a sound test of the Romer G, Cherry MX Blue, Cherry MX Brown, and Cherry MX Reds. Now the stem of the Romer G switches are not Cherry compatible, so there are no replacement keycaps so far. But then again, the ones on the stock G810 are perfectly fine anyways. The keyboard sports full RGB per key backlighting, which means that every key can be assigned to pretty much any color that you can visually see. Inside the stem, there's a little cutout for the LED and also a lens to amplify or brighten up the LED. The Logitech gaming software is really nice with a simple and elegant layout. You can choose from a multitude of effects like wave, fixed color, breathing, key press, star effect, and color cycle. The lighting looks nice and also has a good saturation to it. All the colors are accurate except white, which I'd say looks slightly pinkish. The rest of the software allows you to see which buttons you press the most, or assign macro buttons to the F keys which I found really useful, because instead of having a dedicated row of macro buttons that takes up more space, you can just use your F keys that you rarely ever use. And overall, I think that's the entire point of the Logitech G810. It's supposed to be a gaming keyboard at heart, but it can always transform into a business-like keyboard. So for example, it has RGB lighting, gaming switches, and macro buttons. But when you don't want those and you're just using it as a regular typing keyboard, you can turn the backlighting off, the switches work great for typing, and also you can just use the regular F keys. And I think that's what makes the Logitech G810 a really unique keyboard. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.